Creating professional product advertisements is often expensive and time-consuming. You need a photographer, the right setting, and hours of editing to get just a single good shot. And if you're running a small business or testing new products, this process quickly becomes overwhelming, slowing you down and draining your budget. But what if you could create high-quality, eye-catching ads automatically with just a single product image? That's where automation in N8N comes in. In this tutorial, I'll show you step-by-step -step how to connect your product photos to an AI photo shoot workflow and generate ready-to-use advertising visuals in minutes. For this tutorial, we'll be working with a powerful AI model from FAL.AI called Easel AI. This model makes it possible to generate professional product advertisements starting from nothing more than a simple image of your product. Here's how it works. You can provide a product description, define the type of scene you want it to appear in, and even describe exactly how the product should be placed within that scene. On top of that, you have full control over the output format. So whether you need content for social media, an e-commerce store, or a widescreen campaign, you can adapt it to your needs with just a few clicks. The real advantage comes when you connect this to N8N. By setting up this automation, you can test the same product in multiple environments and placements without hiring photographers, setting up studios, or spending hours editing. Just imagine how much time and money this can save, especially if you're running a small business or working with a tight budget. In this tutorial, I'll first explain the step-by-step -step process so you'll understand exactly how everything fits together. And once we've gone through that, I'll show you where you can download this automation for free so you can start experimenting with your own product images right away. Let me show you exactly how this works. First, we'll start in Airtable. As you can see here, I already have three test examples that I generated earlier, and they worked very well. I'll show you the final results later in this tutorial. To begin, you'll need to set up the scene. In my example, I've chosen a close-up beauty portrait of a woman with glowing skin, holding the serum in her hands. Next, I'll add the product description. In this case, it's a luxury skincare serum, as you can see here on the screen. This is the product image I'll be using. For the product placement, I've set it so the serum is held in both hands, positioned just beside the woman's face, making sure the bottle is clearly visible. Then, we can select the output format. This lets you decide the size and aspect ratio of the final image. For now, I'll keep it at four to three. Make sure the status field is set to do so the workflow knows this request is ready to run. Once that's done, I'll switch over to my N8N instance and click on Execute Workflow. Don't worry if you don't already have this set up. You can download the workflow from the community, whether you're using the free or the paid community. After clicking Execute Workflow, the generation process begins. It usually takes around 40 seconds to complete. When it's finished, the image is automatically sent back into Airtable and stored alongside your request. Finally, in my school community, you'll find everything you need to get started. The automation JSON file, as well as the Airtable link. Just follow the provided steps to load the automation and copy the Airtable setup into your own workspace. Now, let me also show you some of my previous examples. In the first example, I used a pair of running shoes. The prompt I set was a scenic image of an athlete tying their shoelaces on a wooden bench in a park during sunrise with warm golden light and a blurred city skyline in the background. For the placement, I specified on the ground next to the athlete's feet, slightly angled to show both the side and the sole. If you look at the end result, I think it turned out amazing. For the second example, I tried an energy drink called Tribe, starting from an image I generated with Midjourney. The prompt I used was a vibrant urban rooftop party at sunset with friends laughing, neon lights starting to glow, and a DJ playing music in the background. The placement was on a small glass table in the center, surrounded by glasses filled with ice. As you can see, the system not only placed the product perfectly, but also let me emphasize the brand name Tribe and adjust the colors to match the prompt. And finally, I tested the same energy drink in a completely different setup. The prompt for this one was a sunny beach scene with golden sand 
palm trees swaying in the breeze, and friends relaxing under umbrellas while waves sparkle in the background. For the placement, I used on a wooden beach table in the foreground with condensation droplets on the can. This gave me a fresh and unique result, as you can see in the final beach scene image. Remember, this automation can be downloaded completely free. And if you'd like to see more resources like this, just leave a comment with your idea. Who knows? Your suggestion might be the next automation I create and share with you. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial. I hope it helped you discover how easy it is to create stunning product advertisements with N8N and AI. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials and free automations. And if you have an idea for the next workflow you'd like to see, drop it in the comments. I'm always looking for new suggestions from this community.